welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl, Penny. And today I have my father with me. Hi, everyone. Guys, today we are doing different flavored pork rinds. Me and Dad both like pork rinds in general to snack on. Right. Uh, right. Just the plain pork rinds. So we haven't tried like different flavored pork rinds. And I saw that they had different flavors at Kroger. I'm sure you can get them at Walmart, too. Maybe different brands or whatever. But we're gonna try. We got five different flavors here to try, right. and we're gonna we're gonna rank them. We're kind of gonna tell you like which one we like the most out of each one of these, okay. which one we like the least out of it. As we're tasting them, we're gonna tell you what it is. If it tastes funky or if it tastes okay, sound good? Okay. Okay, guys. So let's. I, if, good. Yeah. Before we get to that, if you haven't subscribed yet. We please ask you to subscribe, guys. Show that subscribe button some love. It's down below. Click it, boop it, smash it. It's free, it's easy. And if you've already subscribed, or if you don't want to subscribe, we understand. But can you give us a thumbs up? Just asking for a little support for our channel. Every bit of help, appreciate it. Yes, we appreciate everybody for subscribing. For giving us the thumbs up, for giving us such great respectful comments, we I can't we can't say thank you enough, can we, Dad? No, we can't. Okay, so let's kind of move these down. Um, I think we should start off with this, Dad. This is jalapeno cheddar pork rinds, chicharrones, <laughs> fried pork rinds. This company is called Four Five Four Five Zero Five. Have you guys ever seen these? I've never heard of Yeah, I haven't either. It's pork rinds, uh, jalapeno cheddar, guys. That's what they look like. It's in a greenish color bag. Let's give these a whirl. Jalapeno cheddar. Oh, my goodness. You guys make that face when you try to open a bag. Oh, man. Okay, use it. Hmm, I don't know. I'll shake you out if you Maybe I'll shake you out. Okay. A couple or anyway. Oh! I'm mm -hmm. stealing a couple from you. Stole a couple from you, Dad. Now we're trying to see if we can taste this jalapeno and see if you can taste like a cheddar cheese on it. They're not super strong, okay? I can just barely taste the cheese. And I can taste a little warmth in my mouth, but it's not super strong jalapeno. I kind of expect it to be a little more jalapeno. I did, I did too. I mean, it's okay. I just thought it was more distinctive. Yeah, I did too. I'm stealing your other one. I did too. I really do. Like I said, I expected it to have a little more oomph to it. It's got a little warmth. It's got a little cheese flavor. Hmm, I don't know. It didn't taste bad. It, didn't taste it bad. doesn't taste bad, okay? By all means, it doesn't taste bad. I'm, no, I'll, it... I'll eat them. But to really recommend them, I there's not enough flavor on it to recommend it. Do you, do you think? Yeah, it feels a little warm. Yeah, it's a little warm. I think that's supposed to be from the jalapeno. But, but there's no taste at all. Yeah, there's like no jalapeno flavored that much. It's no very cheese. slight. The cheese is so slight, guys. So if you're getting those thinking you're going to taste cheddar cheese and a strong jalapeno, you're not. It's so slight. I kind of expected it to have more flavor. I That's all. I so too. I really wouldn't recommend them. I, I, I'd much rather just eat plain ones because there's I like not enough flavor. I got to get a little sip to rinse that down. Okay. I was really interested in these guys. This is made by Bacon. Yeah, I can't say. Bacomets. It's honey mustard flavored. Honey mustard flavored pork rinds. Mm. I don't know. Now mustard. I'm expecting these to taste because they are pretty yellow in here. I like honey mustard stuff. Like the honey mustard pretzels. Oh my goodness. There's a, some big ones. I'll try to get you some smaller ones out there because yeah. I know you can. Oh man. There's some big ones in here. Okay. Okay, you can taste those. Mm hmm. Mm. 
It's salty. It's pretty salty. Don't you think? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I kind of like these. I do too. But I don't know how many I could eat because it would get pretty salty after a minute. Hmm. Trying to make up my mind about these. You want one more? No. Okay. So, what's your opinion on these? They're tasty. Mm -hmm. And they're, they, they taste exactly what they're saying. Honey mustard. The honey mustard. Mm -hmm. They're salty. Yeah. Like, I could eat a small handful. But I think after a minute the salt would get to me. I after think a so minute. too. I think it would. I think it would overtake the salt. Like would you couldn't overtake. like eat a lot. But you know what? I like these better than those jalapeno cheddar. Oh, ones. I do too. So I would say right now these are number one on our list out of these out of these flavored ones. So let's just sit that over the side. There's a little sweetness to it. Now I thought honey mustard. I thought it'd be a little more sweeter being called honey mustard. It's more salty and it's leaning toward that little tang of mustard, like mustard vinegar. Um, it's not super strong though. I mean, it's salty. It's salty. That's the only thing about that one. Oh, this one I found really, really interesting. This is made by a Southern Recipe, small batch they call them. This is pineapple and ancho chili flavored pork rinds, guys. I wanted to show these to you. Chili flavored pineapple it, yeah. chili flavored. Pineapple ancho chili flavor. Okay. I, like. I just thought they sounded so interesting. It might be a little sweet, little spicy, a uh, little, what do you call it? A little sweet, a little spicy, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. I got a little spice on. I got a little sweet to them. The flavor is there. Mm -hmm. There's flavor on it. Hmm. I don't know what to think about these, okay? They're not gross, okay? my Starbucks cup guys I got this the other day they were um like discount discontinuing these or they had a markdown or something plus I had some points saved up on my card so I got this for pretty darn cheap I had to get it I love the color of it I love the texture of it got my diet Mountain Dew in there what do you think about these Sam? do you I like them they're, they got a little spice to them. The so pineapple they, and the, the flavor and stuff is there. Yeah, you could taste it. You could taste the it's chili. The salty and is not there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it goes together with the uh, with the with the uh, pork rind, pork rind or not. Okay, guys. Um, I kind of like them. Okay. Um, I'm I'm on I'm on the fence here. Like Dad said, it's a little weird combination. It's, it, it you definitely taste that little pineapple sweet, and you taste the chili powder, and it's a little warmer than um, than the jalapeno thing. The jalapeno right. was just a tingle. This is a little more warmth. Um, this is like mild, trying to be a medium. It would get to medium, I think, if you kept eating them, because it, it started. To, it felt like it was building. But if I wanted something a little spicy and a little sweet in a pork rind. I would get these again, I think, if that's what I, if I was calling for something a little spicy. If I wanted, if I wanted something in that flavor. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so now's the question. So do you like the honey mustard ones better than these ancho chili pineapple ones? I think it was pretty much, About pretty the same? much the same. Okay, so on the same level to you. To me, I like these ancho, pineapple ancho. It's just a little bit better than the mustard, but I like the honey mustard. It's just salty. I do. I think it's a little bit. A little bit Okay. A little salty. Okay. So this one is the sea salt and cracked black pepper flavored pork rinds, guys. And this is made by 
a southern recipe small batch as well. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, if you see the pork rind out there that you've tried and you really, really liked a different flavor, one that we haven't tried, guys, comment below. If I can get my hands on it, if I have to get it from Amazon, I will. We like trying different pork rinds because that's kind of yeah. like this one of our, my, mine and dad's snacks that we kind of like to crunch around on sometimes. Okay, so this one might be a dad's alley. This has black pepper flakes on it. Oh, man, that's, that's, I'm going to eat this big one, guys. Look how big this one is. I'm just going to give dad a few small ones here. It'll be easier for him to manage. Well, I don't know. I'm going to chew on this big one here. That is cracked pepper. Sea salt and cracked black pepper. This might be a crunchy video. You can taste the black pepper. These are kind of good too. I mean, you gotta like black pepper, okay? Because you can taste the black pepper. I do do. And what, okay, with them saying it's sea salt, I thought it might be too salty. It's not. I think the salt content is about right there. It's got that salty flavor, but not too salty. I think so too. It... What do you think about these? I think there's a, the. These are a little bit more than the mustard and the... Oh, so you like these just a little more than the other two? Right. Okay. I thought so. I thought this would be on Dad's list. So you, you, right now you're saying this is probably number one for you so far. Right. Oh. So the sea salt cracked black pepper is number one for Dad so far. Um, hmm. I like it too. Hmm. I'll give you my lineup at the end. I'm still, I'm thinking really hard on this one. <laughs> this is the last one. This is just the Kroger brand. It is the hot and spicy pork rinds. Okay. Hot and spicy. Now, I think I've had a small bag of these before, guys. So I'm more interested on Dad's take on these. So there might be a little spice to these puppies. Yeah. While well, Dad's taste testing that, if you notice me putting it out on the thing, it's just, he can reach in the bag, guys. I'm just, he's got macular degeneration, if you're new to the channel. It's a vision loss, okay? It's a progressive vision loss. He can see light and he can see dark, but he can't make out detail. And if he gets mad sometimes when he can't find the inside of the bag and stuff. So I, since I'm sitting here beside him, I just shake him out some. That's, that's the only reason he can do it himself. I don't want you to think, you know, I'm being bossy or anything. I'm just helping him out. What do you think about these? They're, they're hotter. <laughs> these are the hottest ones so far. Right. <laughs> what do you think about them? Do you like them? I like them. I like them. Hot and spicy, okay. They're definitely a, a high-end medium. They're trying to go to hot, okay? If you kept eating these things, it's definitely going to build in your mouth because I could feel it in the back of my throat. Mm -hmm. I ate, what, one or two little ones? I could feel it, like, all around my gums, and my tongue is tingling all over it. So it's definitely a medium, a high medium, trying to go to hot, okay? Mm -hmm. I just want you to know the heat level. I, like I don't know if you can... Take very much. Yeah, I don't know if you can eat very many because it would just get too hot after a minute. But I think you got a better taste than all of them. I, they got a good flavor, the flavor yeah. of it. They they mix together. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to make Dad give me his like, favorite here. So, your number one, flavor-wise, is these hot and spicy, you think? Right. Okay. And then your number two, I'm thinking, is black these pepper. black pepper. And the honey mustard and the pineapple ancho chili, it's kind of like a the tie. The honey mustard and the... Uh, the, the ancho pineapple chili. Yeah. 
So honey yeah. mustard would go first before right. that. And then last would be those ch cheddar jalapeno ones, do you think? Oh, I forget about that. Mm -hmm. Cheddar jalapeno. Yeah, it was the very first one. They, looked, they didn't have much flavor. They didn't have no flavor whatsoever. Then leave, it on, guess, leave it on the bottom. I guess it would be on the bottom. Okay, so dad's number one is this hot and spicy. Dad's number two is the sea salt cracked black pepper, guys. Um, and then I think you say honey mustard would be the second one. Or the third yeah. one. The third one. The fourth one would be this pineapple ancho chili one. And the last would be that jalapeno cheddar one. Because it just doesn't have enough flavor. If it had more flavor, I think it would bump it up somewhere in the thing. So I agree. I think this is last. My number one. Mmm. Okay, I think my number one is this, <laughs> I hate to say it, but the pineapple ancho chili one I think is my number one. It's got a little spice to it, it's got a little sweet to it. It's not too spicy. I think I can eat a few more of those than I can these hot and spicies. But I think ancho chili pineapple is my number one. My number two is the hot and spicy because it does have good flavor. I just couldn't eat as many of them. Um, my number three... It's going to be the sea salt cracked black pepper, and black pepper ain't my thing, but I like those. Um, my number four is the honey mustard, and my number five, it just doesn't have enough flavor, is this jalapeno cheddar one. So, yeah. that's it. That's, that's okay. pretty, much, pretty much regular. So, I wouldn't buy these. If you're looking for a lot of flavor, I wouldn't buy these jalapeno cheddar ones. It's just not enough flavor. But if you want something that's pretty darn spicy... That has a lot of good like spice flavor to it, like a smoky spice flavor. This hot and spicy, I think, will be up your alley. If you want something that's not quite so spicy, I don't spicy, think you can eat very much of them. Yeah, <laughs> well, if you like hot, you can eat a ton yeah. of them for sure. Um, yeah, but you 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 enjoy them. Yeah. If you don't mind something pretty salty, I mean, these honey mustard ones are good, guys. They are. They're good. They just seem salty. So that's it. That's all we got. Yeah. Like I said, guys, if there's a flavored pork rind that you've, you've either seen at the store or one that you've tried, a different flavor, um, there's some flaming Hot ones. I tried to get those. They didn't have them. Um, comment below. Let us know. Like I said, even if I have to get on Amazon and order us a bag or a small bag of them, I will. Because um, it's fun trying different ones. I know there's all different flavors. There's a bunch of flavors. So... I do. Right. So comment, I, let us I know. Think, uh, I think she said it uh, well. <laughs> comment and let us know, guys. Like I said, we like trying things. So I guess that's it about it. You're about ready to let these guys go? That's okay, guys. <laughs> it's about time, guys. Okay, guys. We hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow, and God bless you all. Yes, guys, God bless. Come back tomorrow, see what we're eating, see what we're reviewing, see if we like it or not. Until tomorrow, bye-bye. Bye-bye.